If it wasn't for mother, I wouldn't be where I am sitting here now. She was my backbone. Yeah. The, um, <laughs> <sorry. coughs> it's really made me drive yeah. to achieve things. I got selected to represent England in the Commonwealth That's Games. That's unreal. But it, so it, good. It's <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. This is nice. First time here. Very there good party, go. pleased to meet you. Yeah, you'd say. Mm. Just what I wanted. Mm. Right, shall we um, turn the cards over? Yeah, let's go for it. And I'll start off. I had a difficult childhood and faced prejudice at school because of who I was. But my mother's reaction when I came out reassured me I'd be OK. I could have easily ended up on the wrong path because of something that happened when I was younger. I was the only person in school that uh, was gay and it was it was hard, it was, felt pretty lonely to be honest. I, I mean at one point I actually didn't leave the house for like quite a few months so then I just came out as gay. Yeah I told my mum, I wrote a letter to her, she rang the school and uh, told the receptionist uh, to tell me that she loves me and uh, no matter what, or something like that. I just ran out crying, oh, so... That's <laughs> lovely, that. To the outside world looking in, my mum was, like, absolutely unreal. She loved us, like, so much. Um, so when... So when, um, when I was 19, my mum took her own life. Right. Mm -hmm. That was, I think, the kicking point, or the striving point, for me to be like, hell no. And I decided to, um, create my own cleaning company. Mm. And I wanted to do it for my mum, like, I believe a little bit of a reason why she did what she did was because she didn't want me and my sister to worry about her anymore. Mm. And I know she always looks down on me. I know she's going to be up there and she's going to be so proud. That's why I do everything that I do to this day. You're 25 and you're a successful woman, young woman, OK? The only person you can thank for that is you. 100%. Yeah, 100%. When I was at primary school, there was only uh, myself and uh, my two older sisters that were black. There were very, very few black people around at the time. I can remember kids would try to offend me. People who are racist, sexist, whatever, ists, you can educate yourself. And they don't get it that we are who we are, but they can change. We're very different people, but we've actually got a lot in common. Like <laughs> we can relate on the same Absolutely, matters. Absolutely, yeah. If it wasn't for my mother, I wouldn't be where I am sitting here now. She was my backbone. Yeah. And when I saw my father knocking my mother around, the consequences of that was, it's really made me drive yeah. to achieve things. I've done weight training, natural bodybuilding champion. I've fenced, I skated, I've represented in the Commonwealth Games. I've done stunt work. I've trained the SWAT teams out in the States. Up to that point, I've been studying Chinese martial arts for, must be 40, 43 years. Yeah. <laughs> I think if, if people were to get together more like this, it helps. I understand the problems that you've had, you know, and you know, I feel happy that I've been able to relate things to you. We'll start a club. I, and think, then we'll yeah. get... I think you're right, yeah. I want to be a man, like, a young version of you. <laughs> I could talk to you all day. Likewise. <laughs> it's been lovely talking to you, Eddie. Thank and you, madam. You're not someone that I'm going to be forgetting in a hurry, and, and that little yeah. move yeah. thing. <laughs>